this is Chris Swan, CTO at Cohesive FT, with a quick demo of Suricada network intrusion detection on VNS Cubed, our overlay networking technology. So I've got the status page of VNS Cubed up here, and I can see that I've got a single connected client. Uh, that single connected client's running a small application server with a demo to do list application. So I can go to that, I can add something onto my to do list, um, and I can just as easily delete things out of the to do list. Uh, I'm already using a container uh, to do SSL termination uh, in front of that to-do list. And what I'm going to do is add in another container uh, that's going to have the uh, Suricada demo within it. Um, so let's upload a, an image. And uh, I'm just going to use an image file that's hosted on the app server um, so that it'll upload nice and quickly. So that's going to take about 20 seconds, and we'll see this page refreshing. Uh, the container itself has got Suricada inside of it with a single rule that's going to detect MasterCard numbers. Uh, so I'll demonstrate that with the to-do list in a moment. Uh, meanwhile, as this is importing, um, we can see that the page will order refresh. And once that's ready, I'm going to allocate that as a container, which I can do now. And um, I just need to give that another name. So we can call that demo Suricada. Uh, give it a command. We're using the uh, supervisor process manager and allocate that. Uh, once that's allocated, we can see that the container is being given an IP address, and I can go to the firewall and use that to forward traffic uh, from the overlay network into the container. Um, so I've got a couple of rules here that I'm using within the firewall. Uh, the first is simply copying traffic from Tun0 interface, which is my overlay network, into the container's IP. Uh, and the second rule below that is allowing me to connect from outside with an SSH client. Um, and that's where we can actually see the alerts being triggered on the uh, Suricard inmates. So I need to activate that. And once that's done, uh, I can jump into my SSH and uh, we can get a route onto the container itself and start taking a look at those logs. So I'm logged onto the container and let's CD into the Suricard logs. So the one I want to be looking at is the fast log. Uh, so let's it and we can see that there's nothing much going on there so let's generate some traffic that's going to cause some alerts uh, so let's go back to my to-do list and put something in that looks at, like a MasterCard number uh, so I'll save that into the to-do list now and we can see that straight away we've got some hits on that MasterCard number being detected by the Suricada system uh, we've got a number of triggers there and that's because uh, not only are we seeing uh, the number as it's being rendered, but we're also seeing it as it's uh, traversing across the network initially as it's posted into uh, the application, um, and then uh, again as it's being rendered onto the screen. So we, we get more than just a single hit on that. And that really pretty much wraps it up. So what I've been able to do there is uh, deploy a container image uh, with the Suricada demo inside, um, get that started up as a container with its own IP address allocated to it, um, route traffic into it, um, create some traffic, uh, and then see some hits. And those hits uh, in a production system you could then have uh, pumped into some kind of security monitoring solution. Thanks for watching.